Good evening, Veronica. Ok, ahora apague la cámara. Eh, Quítale el sonido. Hello, hello, good evening, guys. Let's see. Antonio, hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How hello. are you, mister? Hello, good evening. Ready right for the class? Right, teacher. I read it. Excellent, excellent. I like that. Today is the last class. Yeah, today is the last class. Yeah. It's okay. going to be a very, very interesting class. I hope, teacher. I hope so. Okay, and today we have, uh, let's see, we have the presentations from some of your classmates. We have a small review. Then we have the survey. Tenemos la entrevista, la encuesta, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just check something. Okay, yeah. So we have many activities tonight. Yes. Yes. It will be the, the most longer night. No, until 10, until 10 p.m. always. Yeah, normal, normal class. Normal. Okay, teacher. Normal, normal class. Okay, I ready, teacher. I say, Excellent. I say, I ready because I, I am a little nervous for the for the topic. For the topic. Yes, I I not have. Uh, any topic in special, but I am improving. Yeah, well, 
you know, this is something about uh, practice and effort and you'll see it. I mean, it's just a matter of time for you to start like getting better and better. So well, don't worry about it. I mean, okay, teacher. it's step by step, the way we do it, step by step. Okay, thank you. No, oh, man, everything's fine, everything's fine. You will see, you will see that everything's gonna be okay. Let's see. Was raining there, teacher? No, it is not. To be honest, it is not raining. Till never, teacher. Yeah, I mean, right now it's right now it's like normal, normal, normal. normal. Yeah, no, it is hot. Oh, really? Yes. Well, no, here it's. I mean, it's fresh. To be honest with you, it's fresh. Oh, well, I think after the the class, maybe I take a shower because it's very hot. Well, here, you know, it's a little bit fresh, but it's acceptable. Okay. It's pretty acceptable. And well, let's see, welcome to the class, mister. Nice having you here. Thank you. Oh, thanks to you. Let's see. Okay. Let me just check on something, Magdalena. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Mister? I I am working. I am still working. I am driving to home. I am driving home. Oh, okay. No I'll problem. No problem. Home. We will talk yeah. later. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you, teacher. It was a large weekend. A long, long weekend. A long, okay, a long weekend. It was a long weekend. I worked in the countryside in the weekend. Oh, really? Well, That's interesting. Yes, yes That's a lot. Interesting. I, I worked at the mountains. The mountain of the little land. Little land. Where? Hikalapa. In Hikalapa. Oh. Um, around tunnel number four. Yeah, I know Hikalapa. Really? You know? Oh, yeah. I was, I mean, I was working in Chipipan for five years. So we used to go around with the friends. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been, wow. I've been around. I've been Chiquipane. around. It's right oh, before yes. the Chiquipane tunnel number a... one. Aha, uh -huh, yes. It's, it's around that. Yeah, it, and it's also up in the mountain. Yes. The, the weather here, the weather there is so interesting because you have the atmospheric pressure like at the mountain, but yep. you have the, the, the hottest. You are hotter than the beach. Yeah. It's interesting the weather there. Wow. 
is so interesting. Yeah, it's it's teacher. Teacher. yeah. One question, teacher. teacher. Um, maybe around what time you hope that we are feeling the um, uh, eight forty-five. Don't remember. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe I I hope to no, I hope that I will be at home at eight thirty. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, it's actually my friend said that. Okay. Let's hope it's okay. Mm -hmm. My friend Ways said that we are arriving home at 8 30. Okay, well, yeah. Let's hope everything turns out okay for you, my friend. It's okay. Thank you. And that the chair. Thanks, thanks to you for being here. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. We are here. Okay, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Mailing. Hello, Mailing. How are you? Hello, teacher. Um, so so. So so. Come on. What's that? Tell me. What's so so? <laughs> now we attend the funeral of my boyfriend, my grandfather. Oh, my boyfriends. Boyfriend. Grandfather. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, good thing that he has you for support. Thank you, teacher. No, that's nice. That's nice. Well, and I won't ask you how was your day. What about the weekend? Did you do something, anything special during the weekend? No, teacher, really. Oh, you were in the yeah, same really. stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I understand you. Well, don't yeah. worry, don't worry. We will talk later, mm -hmm. okay? I imagine you are tired. Whenever we are in those activities, we get tired. Yes, yes, teacher, I'm tired. I, I work late. I'm tired of working for me. Okay. Um, Well, welcome to the class, maybe. Thank you. Let's see, let me get the attendance, guys. Carlos Eduardo Ortega Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Mármol. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stefan Elisef Molina Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivania Chamide Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calle. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Aralía Yala Ramírez. Thank you, Verónica. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. And Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Okay, okay. 
Well, let's see who else is around. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Hi, Chef. Good evening. I'm fine. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Everything's nice. How was the weekend? Mm. Very nice. That's great. So you were able to rest. Yes. That's cool. That's cool. Did you go out or do you just went, were resting at home? Excuse me, teacher. Did you go out or were you just resting at home? Did you go out, <clears throat> Salio? Or were you just resting mm, at home? Yeah. Yes, teacher. I work. And oh my gosh. I travel. I travel in, 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 in Berlin. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Interesting. So you were busy. Uh, you were busy. For, Estuvo ocupado. Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Excellent. Let's see. Let me just get something. Well, welcome, Wilfredo. Nice having you here. Thank you, Chief. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, hmm, hmm. Hey, Carla. How are you? Fine, teacher. How was the weekend for you? Um, so so. So so. What's that? Tell me why it was so so. Um, um, por lo mismo de la gripe. Entonces oh, really? pasé pasé mal el fin de semana. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> So you were like uh, uncomfortable. It's pretty uncomfortable. You doing any better? Ya un poco mejor. Okay, that's nice. That's sí. nice. Yes. Are you taking medicine? Yes. Okay. So what were your symptoms? Tell me. What? What were your symptoms? Uh, me está preguntando por los síntomas, ¿verdad? Yep. Ah, ok. Um, <clears throat> eh, eh, dolor de garganta, como picazón. Okay. A sore throat. Eh, uh -huh. Aris tapada, calentura. Okay, a running news. A running news. Running news. Running, running. like in running. A ah, running news. Running news. A ah, running news. Okay, a fever. A fever. Okay. Look, there's something interesting because we say, oh, I have a running news. And I was running a fever. A uh, little bit weird, right? A bit of strange. Yes. Okay. Well, interesting. So you were quite bad. You got all the symptoms. No le entendí. Tuvo todos los síntomas. Sí. Uh, that's uncomfortable, pretty uncomfortable. Oh. Well, to be honest with you, they tell me because in my case, in my case, last time I had the flu was like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. Oh. The last time I had the flu, la última que me dio a mí, it was like seven or eight years 
tengo ah, ahora okay. unos siete u ocho años. Okay. I mean, from then on, I haven't had the flu. Pero entonces no me ha dado gripe. So, I don't tome know that, what that. Tome vitaminas, teacher. Porque ya oh. estoy tomando vitaminas. Ok, that's nice, that's nice. Well, Carla, welcome. Ok, thank you, teacher. Ok, guys. Les recuerdo a todos, perdón que lo diga en español, eh, 8.45 tenemos la encuesta. Ok. Eh, y lo vamos a ir haciendo juntos, así que Hey, Chris, don't worry about it. No se preocupe. Yvette, hello, Yvette, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, fine. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> okay, and tell me, how was the weekend for you? Um, very, very. Uh, calm, rest, I'm sleeping, I'm watching TV. Okay. So you were enjoying. <laughs> eh, que, que si... Estuvo disfrutando. Ah, uh, yes. Sí. Uh, um, I didn't, I, um, no, I did the house at work. The housework. Oh, sí, sí, clean, washing, washing, uh, uh -huh. cooking. Ay, sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mom, nice. but, but, but sleeping. So, bad sleeping. If you say bad sleeping, you will say it's a todo menos dormir. No, hice, hice de todo y también dormí, pero dormí. Okay. But I also slept. But I also. Mm -hmm. Also sleep. Like this. Like this. Look, but I also Slept. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, but I also sleep. Sleep. Okay. Slept. Slept. Okay. Okay. Now uh, let me see. If you say this, I did everything but sleeping. Si lo dice esta manera, me está diciendo. Hice de todo menos dormir. Ah, ok. Ok, no. Entonces es al revés. Dormí okay. no hice mucho. <laughs> ok, well, that's nice. Ah, I had a problem. You know, last night I had the problem that I was not able to sleep good. So uh -huh. I slept like three hours perhaps at night. Qué poquito. Yeah, you know, that happens, that happens. Mm. But what can we do? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Eso sí, tiene razón. Um, pero cuando se puede. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, of course. Okay. I mean, I, I well, Actually, you know, I just sleep for me this week. It's going to be weird because, I mean, I will have so much free time. It's going to be weird for me because usually I, I mean, I sleep like four or five hours. Uh, okay. But because I finish working very late at night, but this week I'm going to be like with no work. So it's going to be like weird. It's stressful for me. Okay. Too much free time. Um, I first, uh, yo primero hago oficio y luego duermo. Nah, cool. That's mm -hmm. nice that you can take a nap. Ivette, welcome. Nice having Thank you, you here. Thank you, teacher. 
Xiomara, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good. How's everything? Um, everything um, in front, good. And in a little bit tight. A little bit tired. Yes. Why? Why? Tell me why. Because I wake up early and um, we work a lot. I okay. make different things and I feel tired. And what about the weekend? What did you do during um, the weekend? On Saturday, I worked just the morning. After that, I rest. And yesterday, I made a, a, I do laundry and I I bought food. Mm, groceries. Ah, uh, groceries. Groceries. Remember what that when you talk about buying food, you bought groceries. Okay, and I buy both groceries. And okay. Only that. Only that. Mm -hmm. Well, that only that is a lot. <laughs> Okay, let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 uh. Oscar, hello, Oscar. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine. Relax at home. Relax at home. Yeah. That's nice. And tell me, how was the weekend for you? Um, Saturday, I uh, worked. Um, Sunday, uh, rest. All the day. All day. Oh, nice. Resting rest, all day, rest. that's great. Yeah. Only day the rest. Yeah, I understand you. Uh, seven day the week, six work, one day rest. Yeah, we get tired. I quit. I I quit. I quit. I quit. Uh, for I am all weekend. All week. Okay. I wake up uh, four a.m. At four a.m. Every day. Man, sometimes I mean, like last night, I went to sleep around one thirty. At four a.m. I'm yeah. I four a.m. Yeah. Five. I went to work. No, that's the difference. I go to work around six. Uh, yeah, I go to work around six. My day started work at uh, seven, seven o'clock. At seven o'clock? Yeah. For uh, I live it to San Salvador. I going uh, at uh, Olocuilta. Okay. Um, yeah. It's it's far, but not that far. It's just traffic. Traffic is the problem. Uh, no traffic. Oh really? There's no traffic. No, no.
food. No, no traffic in the morning is here. Uh, freeway, uh, highway, free. Oh, really? All highway free at the uh, mm, airport. Um, all highway free, free, free. At uh, the 45, cool. 45 minutes. Wait. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Huh? Oscar, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, Jack. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 um. Hey, Karen, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Um, tired. <laughs> how was the day for you? I had a, a busy day. Oh, really? A lot of work, yes, in meetings. Mm -hmm. What about the weekend? How was the weekend for you? Mm, I was resting and I had mm -hmm. to help my son with some school projects. Okay. Oh, you were busy. Yes. Yeah, well, that happens. And tell me, what level is your son in? Sorry? What level is your son studying? In que grado está? First grade. First, oh my gosh, that's a lot of homework. Yes, but it's a bilingual school. Bilingual. Bilingual school, so he has to do an exposition, a presentation in English. Okay. What is the name of the school? Bali Bilingual School. Mm. Where is it located? Um, San Antonio. Uh? Okay. Near uh, del Constitución. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, from the roundabout up or down? Up. Okay, yeah. Then it's writing San Antonio. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's uh by the side of Montefresco or in the other side? Mm, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure. No, the thing is that I was living there when I was younger, so I, I know the area. Okay. But it was, when I was young, very Did young. Did you hear so. about Pampanitos? Yeah. That's the same school. Ah. Oh. Why? Campanito is for kindergarten in Bali mm -hmm. Bilingual School for first grade. No. Oh, interesting. Yes. So, well, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Yes. Yeah. But what, what, what can we do? I mean, that's part of the game. Thank you, Karen, and welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah, Carlos Elivaldo, what is Carlos Elivaldo? Hello, teacher. Oh, right there. Hello. I'm sorry, mister. I, I was looking on my screen. It's just <laughs> that I got a big screen, so I I started looking for everybody here. Hello, how are you? Very nice, teacher. Okay, and tell me, what about the weekend? How was the weekend for you? Um, Saturday and four. And Sunday, I'm shopping my family. Oh, really? You went shopping? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. Because uh, for me, when I go shopping, so well, I got to pay. So that's not that good for me. <laughs> I 
Okay. And tell me, uh, what about yourself? Did you buy something for yourself? Did you buy, compro, something for yourself? Para usted? Una camisa mangalar. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let me text it for you. Hold on. Sleeve. A long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirt. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sleeve. This is the sleeve. Sleeve. Yeah, that's the sleeve. A long sleeve shirt. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I, in my case, you know, I love long sleeve shirts. I got a bunch of them. I like them. Yeah. I got like, yeah, the thing is that due to my job, I got a lot of them. I got like 20, 20 something. I got a lot of long sleeve shirts. Yeah, but as I tell you, it's because of my job. So what color was is your shirt? And and red or tipo como marrón, you know? Oh really? Hmm. Interesting. So you like that color? You like that color? Le gusta el color? Yes. Nice. That's nice. Well, Carlos, welcome to the class. Yeah, thank you. Ivan, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, mister. How are you this lovely night? Excuse me? How are you? Okay, I'm fine. Okay, how was the weekend for you? Ah... Uh... Very interesting. Este, um, for the afternoon, the on the Sunday, I I on was Sunday. also excuse me all Sundays. Este, I was. Uh, oh, you go to church, right? You do something from church. Yes, yes. I I went I went I went church. I went church in the mornings, uh, eleven a.m. and the afternoon. Uh, I I was uh, uh, teaching uh, this this the supposed classes. Discipleship. This no discipleship. 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 Yeah. Uh, discipleship. Uh, excuse me. I, I I don't. I forget. <laughs> I pronounce. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's a word that we don't use regularly. That's fine. Yeah, oh, you the, were busy. What were about busy. what about in the afternoon at night? Uh, uh, case in the tarde. Yeah. Ah, uh, the class, the class, uh, uh, the class uh, starts uh, four p.m. and finish. And uh, six p.m. Two hours. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then um, I rest. I rest. I watching TV movie. Okay. Which movie did you watch? Ah, uh, I, I, I see. Yo vi I series. So I saw. So. Well, so, no. Actually, when you're when you are talking about uh, when you are talking about the movie, uh, what you say is I watch. I watch. Okay. Okay, I watch a movie on the. Um, 
uh, watch movie is a name in your name is a uh, the terminal okay the actor is the movie's uh, name the movie's name is the movie's name is a uh, terminal yeah the terminal terminal the movie's mm. name is terminal is is interesting interesting movie uh, because uh uh, Catherine Zeta uh, Jones. Uh, excuse? Yeah, appears on Catherine Zeta Jones appeared in that movie, right? Yes, yes. It's, it's, oh, yes. yeah. Lovely yeah. lady. Actually, beautiful, beautiful woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember who's the actor, but I never forget her. I understand, brother. <laughs> yeah. She's gorgeous. Not beautiful. Well, for me, it's not beautiful. She the actor, the actor, uh, the actor is este. The actor is este. Como, how do you say? Como, uh, what's your I name? I don't remember the name. Mm, lo tengo Tom en la Hanks? punta de la lengua. ¿Cómo me dice? Was it, was it Tom Hanks? Really? Yeah, Tom Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, but Catherine. She was gorgeous at that time. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. like uh, in, in the movie que no le hizo caso a Tom Hanks. ¿Cómo sería? <laughs> well, yeah, you know, that happens. That's part of life, my friend. <laughs> that happens, that happens. Yeah, it's a nice movie. I remember watching it a long while ago. Hey, welcome. Nice having you here, Ivan. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Uh, Luis Antonio, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Mister. How are you? Um, I, I am great, teacher. Uh, right now, uh, and my work. I'm really at work. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I, I back to the to the screen and nuevamente la rutina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yes, that's uh, part of life, you know. I understand you. Yes, teacher. So what about the weekend? How was the weekend for you? Uh, and I went to church and play okay. soccer in, uh, in the other things. <laughs> I work okay. in my home, my home. <laughs> yes. Okay, you were working at home. What did you do at home? Uh, paint my home, pintando. Oh, you're, you're <laughs> painting? Yes, yeah. mm, yes. That's great, are. that's nice. You know, I got mm -hmm. I got the paint there in the garage from a couple <laughs> of months ago, and I never it's, end up painting. It's a little difficult. Difficult. Yeah, well, <laughs> for me to get when I have the time, the problem is this. You know, in my case, the problem is that sometimes I have the time, mm -hmm. but when I have the time, I am not in the mood. Okay. And when I am in the mood that I that mm. I start like, man, I need to paint, I don't have time. So <laughs> yeah. to be in the mood is estar de ánimos. Okay. Yes. So yeah, when I yeah. have time, I'm not in the mood. Like yesterday, I wasn't in the mood of doing nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I did yesterday was like, uh, mm, mm, let me see, there are there's a word, give me a second, there's a word that I need to remember. Yeah, it's this word. It's a, 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 the only thing that I did was I upholster uh, the motorcycle seat, upholster. Upholster. So Tapizar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My motorcycle seat. I did that yesterday because it was uh, uh, it wasn't good anymore. <laughs> so 
I picked it. I got the material and I got the tools. Mm -hmm. I did it, but that was like half an hour. The rest of the day, I was a lazy ass all day long. <laughs> I mean, I did nothing. Yes. How do you say get near patience, teach? <laughs> you have to be patient. Yeah, but yesterday I was like, ah, I don't want to do nothing. So okay. I did nothing at all. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Magdaleno, how are you? Now you're ready? Yes, I am able at home. No, okay, that's nice. That's nice. Now we are ready. Yes, I am ready. Yeah, it's not the same when you're driving because your attention is like you're not focusing on everything, right? <laughs> My focus is in the sprint. Yeah, of course. Otherwise, we have problems. Eh. Oh, I don't like driving. I mean, I like driving, you know, I enjoy driving. I like driving out of San Salvador, but in San Salvador, man, too much traffic. <laughs> and the traffic to be honest with you, huh? yeah, but to be honest with you, I mean, I never get stressed on traffic jams. I mean, if I hit a traffic jam, I'm like, I am the one that goes like, okay, what can you do? Just stay there, take it easy, relax listen to some music and and go with the flow no uh, to me the, the traffic is uh, so stressed stressful stressful is stressful i get the stress in the traffic i i don't i i don't can't be 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 patient uh, yes Yes, I, I don't can I, I cannot be as uh, fresh in the traffic. I don't can. I cannot. No, you know, I have been in traffics like four hours traffic. <laughs> really? Yeah. No problem. I remember when when Surf City was open. I oh, I, it was beautiful. <laughs> I do this this same trip. I did. That, like I today. did. I did uh, same trip like today. Is right. You should have gone the other way, man, by some sonate. <laughs> yeah, the 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 traffic was stuck from El Palmar to yeah. Sorsi to the yeah. um, the bridge. Yeah, I know. I know. I know it. I it mean, was uh, terrible, terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. Yeah, I, well, usually it gets it gets full there. I mean, uh, I got relatives by El Tunco. Sometimes I go stay there. Uh, I know the traffic that usually gets there, and when there's an event or something like that, it gets great. Yes, yes. Uh, when when I did, no, no. When I. Um, Yes, when I did this trip on Sunday, on Sunday night, or on Sunday afternoon, the traffic, the traffic um, was no. When I I lost the idea. <laughs> when I when I did this same trip on Sunday, the traffic is from. Uh, Mahawal to uh, the entrance oh, to Surf City. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I mean, when there is a special occasion or an event, it gets crazy. I'm sorry, Magdalena, I need to make a stop right now because we are going to take the Encuesta de Satisfacción. Perdón, vamos a hacer una pequeña pausa porque vamos a tomar la Encuesta de Satisfacción. Ok, les explico el proceso. Voy a ir, eh, eh, primero vamos a ver un pequeño video informativo. Luego voy a ir explicando paso a paso. Eh, vamos a ir realizando el llenado, pero primero le voy a ir dando la explicación de todo, de todo el proceso. Así que, take it easy. 
Vale. En este momento se dará inicio al desarrollo de la encuesta de satisfacción, la cual es el tercer requisito que Instaport establece para definir si cada participante ha aprobado o no el presente módulo. Solicito su atención y el seguimiento de las indicaciones para que su encuesta se envíe sin errores. En primer lugar, veremos un video explicativo para que tengan una idea general de dónde obtendrán la información solicitada y la forma correcta de trasladarla. ¿Ok? Así que vamos primero al video informativo. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocarlo. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En este caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar 
el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, bueno, vamos a comenzar con el proceso. Emilio, es acepto. Déjame solo un segundo. Vaya, como les mencionaba ahí, pues toda la información, el video está de lo más claro. Antes de iniciar, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta? ¿Algo que no nos haya quedado claro del video? Está bastante explicado, ¿verdad? A ver, algunas pequeñas aclaraciones. Eh, recordemos, déjenme solo compartirles algo para que vayamos. Sé que ya lo vieron, pero hay algunos puntos que siempre es bueno recordar. Recuérdense que la orden de inicio, esta nos aparece ahí, está específico, es una serie de números que nosotros vamos a tener, copiar y pegar, ¿verdad? Correo electrónico, el que tenemos registrado nosotros, el que nos dieron a nosotros, al igual que su número de celular. También recordemos que en el número 8, empresa donde trabaja, acá usted va a poner la razón social, ¿verdad? El nombre del proveedor, ya sabemos que es en inglés corporativo, ahí no tenemos problema. El nombre del curso, igual, wow, nosotros ya lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Nos apareció ahí, se nos envió la información al correo. Si alguien tiene una duda con dicha información, pues solamente me consulta y con gusto. Aunque eso les recuerdo, lo tenemos en el correo. Y si no me equivoco, nosotros también lo tenemos en, en el WhatsApp. ¿Ok? En este caso, en el nombre del curso, lo vamos a copiar y pegar tal y cual aparece ahí, incluyendo las comillas. ¿Ok? En la fecha de inicio del curso, recordemos que en nuestro caso es 26 de julio, fue el día que nosotros iniciamos, martes 26 de julio. Y nosotros estamos terminando el 29 de agosto, que ¿okay? al darle clic al calendario es la que nos aparece sombrero. A ver, aclaro acá. Cuando nos dice cuál es su nivel de satisfacción después de completar el curso, acá les explico. En este caso no estamos hablando cómo, cómo se siente usted, si tuvo problemas de internet, si siente de que pudo haber hecho un mejor esfuerzo. No, en este caso usted solamente nos está diciendo cómo siente que yo le impartí la clase. Con respecto a la manera como yo le impartí la clase y como nuestra gente le estuvo apoyando desde la oficina, si estamos satisfechos con ellos, pues estamos satisfechos. Si sentimos que estamos insatisfechos, pues le ponemos satisfechos. Les aclaro, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros ponemos satisfechos, nosotros comprendemos de que usted ya no va a continuar con nosotros y ya no va a matricular, ya no va a inscribir el siguiente módulo. Eh, luego, acá les mencionaba, damos enviar, nosotros nos va a aparecer el mensaje aquel de que su respuesta se enviado con éxito. A eso me le va a tomar una captura de pantalla y a esa imagen, en el grupo de WhatsApp, usted le va a agregar su nombre completo. Por favor. ¿Alguna consulta? Comencemos, por favor. Tenemos unos minutos para hacerlo. Cualquier duda, acá estamos. Nos acompaña Paola también. Con gusto le podemos ayudar. Así que podemos realizarla.
Si alguien necesita orden de inicio, acá se lo he puesto en el chat de Zoom. La tienen también en el chat de WhatsApp. En el, caso, en el caso de Carlos José Chacón, al final de la clase se queda unos minutos. Yo le ayudo, ¿ok? Paola, le escribí al chat de Zoom que me hace el favor. Veamos. Mailing, exacto. Así, así, así es como lo necesitamos. Carlos Eduardo, excelente. Rosalina, perfecto. Pues Antonio, muy bien. Sí, Carla, el nombre del curso con comillas, por favor. Eh, se lo puse en el chat de Zoom, si gusta copiarlo y pegarlo de ahí. Veamos, Luis Antonio Abrego, perfecto. Karen Beatriz, excelente. Estefano, Xiomara, Verónica, Ivette. Muy bien.
Calma, ahora tenemos tiempo, no se preocupen. Cualquier duda, acá estamos. Cargo, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ivan. Hey, Oscar, dígame. Let me check. Vamos a ver. Gracias, Ivani. Que aún me faltan unos cuantos. Los menciono, tengo Ivania, Iván, Carlos Elevaldo, Carla Lisset, Ivet, Verónica, Xiomara, Estefan Lisset, Karen Beatriz, Luis Antonio, Carlos Eduardo, Rosalina, Maylin. Son quienes tengo ya completados. Eh, Edwin Alberto no me mandó la imagen. Oscar no está en el grupo usted. Dice el cambié el número y se me borró el grupo. Vaya, veamos, hagamos algo. Necesito que. Se lo manda okay. al personal suyo. Permítame, permítame, permítame. No, vamos a hacer algo. Gracias, Paola. Paola acá nos ha compartido en el, en el chat de Zoom, Oscar, eh, el enlace para que usted pueda agregarse al grupo. ¿Lo puede ver? Sí. Ok, en ese usted, you hit on it, y lo va a mandar directamente al chat de WhatsApp, al grupo. Me confirma si todo bien, por favor. Okay. 
Wilfredo Magdaleno, gracias. Edwin, estamos bien. ¿Te puedo unirte al grupo? Ahorita estoy, estoy viendo. Ok, perfecto. No creo que la mayoría ya enviamos, ¿verdad? A mi número no me puede mandar yo solo. Dicha, disculpa. Que... Ah. La cuestión es que tendría que mandarme usted su número. El que, tengo tengo en, el... En el, el que tengo en el grupo es el mío. Pero o sea que estoy en el grupo, pero mi teléfono no está. Okay. Mándale un mensaje directo en el... Ah, le voy a poner, le voy a poner, le voy a poner el número. Ok. Ahí se lo pongo en el, en el, en el chat. Ahí está, Chis. Ahí está mi nombre, Tichel. Vaya, vaya. Give me a second. Okay. Ahí lo Oscar. No problem, Wilson. Do it. Ok, bueno. Creo que solo un par tengo que están trabajando en eso. Me confirman luego, por favor. Eh, vamos a continuar. Thank you very much. Si alguien... Esperemos que todo vaya bien, porque si no, si hubo algún detalle que quedó incompleto o algo que quedó malito, mañana no me, me van a hacer una llamadita. No me la agarre, teacher. Como solo mensaje me cayó, no... No me abre el link. No le abre el link. Solo, ajá, no, o sea, no. Es como mensaje nada más. Por eso, eh, yo le no envío me... a usted. Cuando usted le da 
Ajá, cuando le doy, yo solo me tendría que mandar a Limba, pero no, no me manda, solo es como mensaje normal. No, no me abre así. No le abre así. No. Vaya, envíame la captura con su nombre, por favor. Envíame la a mí. Ok, ok. Well, let's see. Let's continue. Let me check just something. Vaya, Oscar, pero yo necesito que esa captura le ponga usted el nombre. Ok, ahorita. Ok, guys, let's continue. Perfecto, Oscar, gracias. Gracias a ustedes. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's continue. Thank you very much. Thanks for being so patient. Gracias por tanta paciencia. Let me get the second attendant, please. Carlos Eduardo Ortega Barrios. Carl, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Present teacher. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Iván Petrovich Kuzman Aquino. Presence. Ivania Shamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Ivette Lisset Figueroa de Calle. Present. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present, teacher. Mailing Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present, teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Okay, let's see, guys. Well, 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 well. Let's see, presentation. You ready, guys? Estamos listos para las presentaciones? Let's see who's going to start today. Mm -hmm. Nelson, where's Nelson? Nelson, you ready for your presentation? I'm not finished yet, teacher. Okay, no problem. Give me one minute, give me one minute, teacher, yeah. please. No problem, no problem. Okay, let's see. Oscar Armando, you ready for your presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Okay, teacher. This is Dave. I will tell you about myself. Um, my name is uh, Oscar Armando Romero. 
I am married. I have four children, three girls, uh, one boy, and a grandson. I was born um, in Musulutan, but due to the war in the 109, uh, 109, 18. Okay. I had to emigrate to San Salvador. Great. Migre. Migre, San Salvador. My mother was a widow. My father died when I was three years old. When I was six years old, I went to study at boarding school with my two brothers. I was there for seven years. Um, when I left boarding school, my life took a uh, course the evil, evil, beast, drug, and alcohol for a few years. I left that life. Um, with a left boarding school, my life took a course uh, of past. But uh, one day, something very wonderful happened in my life. I had an encounter with Jesus Christ. He was a miracle in me. He changed my life in such a way that thank you to him, I lived the life of disorientation, I left, I quit drug, I stopped smoking, I stopped alcohol. For that, I am very grateful to God for everything he has done. I for that, for what the still does, does. I have God in my heart. I have a beautiful family. I have friends, I have job, I have a road where I can spend the night, I, I have food on the table, I have near, and I, no, I have health. I that's it, uh, um, that's it enough for me. I don't need any more health. I think uh, my life is uh, I don't need it uh, anymore. Just okay. enough for me to just. Perfect, perfect. Just one little thing. I have a roof. Roof. Roof, roof, roof. Como techo. Yeah, roof. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Well done, well done. Now Thank let's you, see, sir. Rosalina, you ready for your presentation? Rosalina was here a few seconds ago. Let's see. Oops, no more. Veronica, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see? Yep, favorite painting. Okay. Good evening. I'm going to talk about my favorite paintings. The first is the Cafe Terras of Night by Isan Van Gogh. He is my favorite painter. And painter. I like painter. See? I like this because the cafe is real, is in 
Arles in France, and its name was Cafe Terras, but now its name is Cafe Tango. Um, the second is the Saturday night. Uh, is my favorite paintings in by Vincent Van Gogh too. And I like um, because he painted this picture when he was in an asylum when he had a mental problems. Okay, si sería. And, and he painted what he saw for the window at night. And the next is the Walker about the Sea of Hope. And I like because when I see it, I I feel in relaxing, in calm, quiet. And the Fallen Angel is wonderful for me and because of your uh, his eyes and his face is is wonderful and the mount fuji is a uh, artwork by kiyoshi yamasita he is from japan and i like this painting because he is a person with intellectual disability and and he, his artwork is, is great for me. And the cathedral is cathedral. An artwork. Cathedral is an, an artwork by my teacher of paint, uh, Danny Cruz. And the last is, is mine. I painted that in, in the quarantine uh, two years ago. And Thank you. Okay, nice. So you like paintings. That's great. Yes. And you know, you know, which is my favorite painting is uh, Muchacha en la Ventana from Bali. That's it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I, I just love it. Also, a couple of monets are, are very, I don't know, attractive for me. And of course, Goya. Goya is, oh, I mean, we are talking a, 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 a something, something kind of special. Actually, one of my dreams is to visit uh, El Prado, you know, just to watch the, the Goya exposition. No, nice. Interesting, Veronica. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Where is Wilfredo? Wilfredo, where are you? There's Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo, talk to me. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Wilfredo. Tonight, I will tell you about my work. Company I work for runs a high machinery. For example, trucks, cranes, and four lifts. My position in the company is crane operator. A piece of learning container and trucks, large machines with very large dimension and weight. We work for companies like like La Keo, which is located in the municipal of Berlin, the department of the Sultan. Uh, finish teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thanks to you, Wilfredo. Jamara, you ready? Yes. Good evening. I'm talking about Aurora Zoom. 
four weeks ago, I went to the zoo with a friend. The trip was very funny. We left home at 3 a.m. We arrived at 10 a.m. because the traffic was terrible. When we came to the zoo, we started to show the different animals. For example, giraffe, penguins, snakes, and different kinds of spaces. I enjoy but I enjoy to show the different animals that the snakes know. But not we, the snakes. No, the snakes no. We end a cave and, and there were several spice, spaces, spaces, spices of snakes. I want to get out of there. I was afraid. We walked all over the place, appreciating the animals. Later, we went to a store. In this store, I saw toys, but the toys, it's the same animals that there are in the zoo. The things, that's chips. Finally, we visited Paseo Cayala. The place is beautiful. We take pictures and enjoy the and enjoy the ice cream. We return at home at 3 p.m. and the traffic was terrible the same as the morning. When we arrived at migration, it was raining a lot because we went to, to my house at 10 p.m. Only teacher, only that. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, who's missing? Who's missing? Mr. Chavez? Carlos Josue Chavez, ready? I'm driving, teacher. Sorry. Okay, no problem. No problem. Let's see who was missing. ¿Qué me faltaba? Teacher. Antonio, yes, please. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Today, I will talk to you about my, my workplace. I want to talk to you about my, my workplace because for me, it's a, it's a little comfortable. I know that, that sometimes the the work is very hard, but uh, it are, are things a little interesting. In my workplace, there are working around 2,000 people, and we have four floors. Three floors, we are making a production of the jacket. But I like because into the, the my workplace, we have three soccer field. Uh, there is a ATM and also there are two cafeterias. And around the, the this place, uh, we can we can enjoy for the a little places we can do exercise. We can do play soccer. And I am sometimes when we the the company uh, pays pays out, they invite invite the in Entrepreneurs. Emprendedores, teacher, así es. Yeah, entrepreneurs. Okay. They in, invite entrepreneurs to sell their product into the into the company. They they are ubicated in in a specific place. And we when it's time to launch, we can go to the the buy the product, the entrepreneur, 
uh, goes, goes to sell. For example, they, you can buy uh, tamales, you can buy tortas mexicanas, you can buy hamburgers, uh, ceviches, semillas de marañón, uh, refrescos naturales. Is is interesting because the company helps to the entrepreneur. But this uh, this is just we we have the the pay the pays. But oh, just on payday. Yes. Everything when they pay pay out. Okay. But yeah. You say on payday. On payday. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. For example, if a uh, if an employee have a uh, a relative or a friend, uh, he can say his friend or, or relative, hey, you can come to sell your product tomorrow in my company. Because we have, they say, the company says, Dia de Emprendedores. Okay. So, yes. And so it's, it's very interesting for me. And also I, I have working to the company for or not things to talk some. Okay, you have worked for the company for a long while. Yes, yes, uh, I have 70 years. I have been working 17 years, 17. And I was quality control for 10 years. And That's right now, yes, and right now I am a parent assistant. I am into the oh. office, I am printer, and I have my, my own computer. The, the owner of this company is a, is a Korean. Uh, the here in El Salvador is just one. Just one company, but and over there in Bangladesh and in Korea, there are there are more company about this. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. Thank Only you. that. Oh, that's a lot. Well done. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Well, it was an excellent activity. Now, let's see. We still got something to do with the mind now. Let's check. We have a little bit of vocabulary. What is a policy? Okay, a policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward a set of business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arrive. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, ocean, mountain, ranges, and other major features are easily identified. I will read again. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide to our acceptable business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to a decision maker on how to handle the issues as they arrive. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. 
I like to think of policies as a globe where national boundaries, oceans, mountain ranges, and other major features are easily identified. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employee. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. I repeat, the ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company management team. Wow. So we got here what is a policy and what is a procedure. Now, it's a connection between a company's vision. You're going to write here policy or procedure. It permits managers to control events in advance. Again, policy or procedure. Okay, guys, you will have four minutes to do this activity. I'm going to send you to the groups right about now. It's going to be very simple. So groups are created. Please, let's do it.
Okay, guys, let's see. It's a connection between a company's vision. Tell me, Ivan, what's that policy or procedure? One moment, uh, policies. Perfect, yes, policy. Number two, it permits managers to control events in advance. Uh, Carlos Telivaldo, policy, procedure. Policy. Policy, perfect, thank you. Well, no, I'm sorry. Procedure, Carlos, procedure. Number two is procedure. Okay, thank you. Number three, Magdaleno, it can be compared to a trip map. It is a procedure. Okay, perfect. Number four, it can be compared to a globe where you find many things. Uh, Veronica. Is procedure. Policy, that's a policy. No problem, don't worry, don't worry. Now let's see, uh, Xiomara number five. When people write this well, they're not misunderstanding. It's a procedure. Procedure, perfect. Okay, guys. Now let's see. We're gonna go to page number 48 and we have an extra grammar practice. Okay, look, we have to fill in the space using either could I or could you. You got seven sentences. What are you going to write? Could I or could you? Just exactly that, okay? So, two minutes for this activity. Working in the breakout rooms, just no, three minutes, I'm sorry. Three minutes for this activity. Let's do it.
Okay, let's see. We're just waiting for everybody to come back. Just a couple of seconds. And here's everybody. Okay, let's see. So we can do it fast. Uh, let me read them for you so you can just be checking on. Okay, that way we can make it faster. Okay, number one. Could I close your window, please? It's very cold in here. Check it out. Number two. Could you open the door for me, please? I am carrying all these books. Number three. I didn't understand what you said to me. Could you repeat it, please? Number four, excuse me, your music is on very loud. Could you turn it down a little? Number five, Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Could you lend me $20 till then? Number six, please, could you borrow your car until tomorrow as mine is being repaired? I'm sorry, number six, could I borrow your car? My bad, my bad, my bad. Could I borrow your car until tomorrow as mine is being repaired? Number six, could I? Number seven, the secretary isn't here. Could I leave a message for her, please? Okay, guys. And with this exercise is when we finish this letter. It's been a very nice experience. And I hope you have feel the, the advances you have made. Uh, if you remember, we have covered uh, models. We have covered present perfect tense, we have cover and um, that's the grammar. Should, could, present perfect. Let's see. Wow, we are covering a lot of stuff, which is very, very interesting. And the conditionals. So something that you must be aware of is this. You need to keep on practicing even on the days that we are not having class, okay? So, uh, let's see this I share just with some of you. Okay, I will compartir con algunos de ustedes. Give me just a second. This meeting is and being recorded. The moment has come for me to get the attendance. Just let me check on something. Que tengo alguien haciendo la encuesta en este momento. Okay. Let me get the attendance and we are done. Carlos Eduardo Ortega Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisette Molina Rodriguez. 
Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you, Edwin. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Presents. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Yvette Lisa Figueroa de Calles. Thank you, Gabriel. Present. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Present. Carla Lisette García Lemos. Present. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present, teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Thank you, teacher. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Thanks to you. Present, teacher. Xiomara sí, Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present, teacher. Okay. Guys, a pleasure for me to have been here with you in this level. I hope to see you soon. And remember, any question, please. Ask me anytime, no problem, okay? I'm here for you. Teacher, una consulta con la encuesta, me espero. Yep, 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 you wait for me. Está me espero. For the rest of you, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Hope to see you soon. Un placer, espero verlos pronto. Eh, cualquier duda, por favor, contáctenme. Estoy para servirlo. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you, teacher. Bye, have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Bye. Hey, thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you, mister. Thanks, teacher. A pleasure. A pleasure. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos. ¿Usted recibió el enlace para la encuesta? Voy a revisar ahorita, oye. Ahorita eso. Eh, dice reciban por el saludo, dame en inglés cooperativo. Yep, yep. Ahí eh, le aparece el enlace. No, me enviaron un enlace que dice autorización de, de formulario, creo. Ok. Eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp le apareció el enlace ahora. Vamos a ver. Es que andaba bien desconectado de eso, teacher. Disculpe. No problem. Vaya. Va, aquí está. Ya lo, ya lo tengo. Okay, ah, pero esto es un video. ¿Cómo? Pero un video me salió. No, vaya. Eh... En el mensaje, lo último creo que es el enlace. ¿Ya lo encontró? Sí, eh, la parte 1 dice que escriba el número completo de orden de inicio. Ok, ¿se lo comparto? Por favor, dicho. Gracias. Veamos. Ahí lo puede copiar y pegar. ¿Lo compartió en Zoom siempre? Sí. Ah, permítame. Ya lo copio. Vale, lo voy a pegar ahora donde corresponde. Uh -huh. Vale. Mi nombre completo, ¿no? Sí. Según lo registramos acá. Sí. Vale, mi número celular. Me llamo Lian y Michael, vive conmigo. Municipio donde, donde vivo, ¿no? Sí, exacto. En la empresa donde, donde trabajo, pongo la donde estaba antes. La, permítame, permita, sí, porque tiene que ser el que tengo registrado. Ya le confirmo uh -huh. en este instante. Solo déjeme verificar algo. Ok. 
Le comparto lo que tengo registrado como la razón social que tenía. Eso me aparecía. A mí, ingeniero. ¿Sí? Vale. Este nombre de proveedor puse inglés corporativo Regal Internacional. Exacto. Yep. Nombre del curso. Aquí se lo compartí en Zoom. Pues, Tal cual, por favor, con todas las comillas. Va. Vaya, este, quiero ver. Fecha de consigue? inicio. Ah, oh, las fechas las tiene. Permítame, ¿en qué fecha inició? Iniciamos en qué, qué fecha. 26 de julio. 26 de julio, déjame ver. Vaya, finalizamos hoy que es 29. 29. Sí, exacto. Va. Satisfecho, mencioné que otros cursos le costaría interés, Excel, me Esa ya es, ya es opcional. Ahí usted le coloca, se lo sí. considera. ¿Cuándo fue eso? Una semana después de que nació. ¿Qué opina del contenido? Excelente, vamos a ver. Excelente. Ya estamos, teacher. Ahí le envío la captura okay. entonces. Excelente. Un gusto, Bien. Carlos. Las tareas no las he hecho todavía. Me faltan tres. Voy a hacerlas ahorita. Déjeme ver, Carlos, 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 por soy Chávez. Y me le falta sección 4, Mirta, mi final. Ok. Yo lo espero, no se preocupe. A mí sí, se me hace larga esta noche. Módulo. ¿Perdón? Porque sin eso no paso el módulo. Sí, nos falta ahí. Ah. Sí, ya que, los mire, yo le recomiendo yo le recomiendo primero que haga midterm y final porque vale. son las que tienen mayor porcentaje y eso le va a permitir ver cuál es el porcentaje que le falta recuérdese que usted necesita llegar al 80 está bien dicho ahí estamos entonces mucho gusto oye. lástima no, un que placer. me tocó trabajar así porque no, no me queda tiempo de, 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 de estar en línea Uh, yeah, I understand you. No problem, no problem. Chusto, teacher. Éxitos. Igualmente, cuídese. Sí, sí. Ahí está. 